fellow YouTube. My name is Brucey. A few years ago, we took the Canaan Loop in West Virginia. Oh. And today, we have our new, whoop, where my hand, Subaru Forester Wilderness. It's modified from the factory to be better off-road. I think it looks great. I think it uh, definitely is a nice driving car. There's this special sticker here that it apparently has a rear diff temperature sensor. So it's supposedly meant for hardcore off-roading. Subaru says it's modified from the factory to be better off-road. So can it keep up with all these modified Subarus and a full-size truck? 2017 Outback, 3.6, two inch Ironman lift, one inch ADF lift, skid plates, tires, blah. 2022 Subaru Forester Wilderness, stock. The only modification is a skid plate from Primitive on the front. 2006 Chevy Suburban, stock. Cooper Discovery AT3s that I got used for a hundred bucks. <laughs> what all have you done to this one? Skid plates, uh, lift. Skid plates, canister, fil bypass filter, lift, tires, interior lights, um, roof rack. That's roof rack. The Toyo Open Country AT3. Toyo, and, and it's, it's stock size. Yeah, I kept it the 225, 65, 17. And it's got the ATS Ironman Spec C lift. Yep. And other than that, primitive skid plates. Yep, all the way through. And then we've got 2004 Baja. Let's go be nosy. Ah, let's just fall in the mud. AT3s and what size is that? 215? They're hair big. They rub a little bit when I get a little bit of whack. Like when you compress, when it's compressed and you're turning, stuff yeah, like that. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> Does it still have the Hot Wheels on the back? Yeah. Hey, Earl. Yeah. Don't get your feet wet. Yeah. Okay, now come over this way, to the left. I think you're good this time. It looks uh, gross, but I think the color is due to the iron. It's like rusted. It's Red Rock Creek, I believe. comes the stock wilderness. And here comes the stock suburban. <laughs>
Yeah, that's what I'm looking at the line that's like the hard driver to the left, unless you want me to go up center. Try driver. You might have the clearance. Uh, the Subaru did not. Just a tink. Oh, I love that Suburban. So, Nick, uh, I think you should take the same line that Nita just took, which is just straight, uh, basically, from where I'm at to me, from me to you, basically. There you go. Easy peasy. Yep. And Steve Himes knows what's up. Da -da -da. Da -da Beautiful. Mal the Suburban can probably do that, but I drug pretty bad there. Nothing. I'll just go over. Nick, if you want to test out the skid plates, come right at me. Otherwise, uh, put X mode on and go that way. You're going to come straight to you, yeah? Right on. Look at that. That last little ridge is what got me too. You're clear. Still good. Passenger. 
can straighten it out. There you go. Which way? Uh, I can't see this side. Hold on. No, just keep it straight. Perfect. Oh, that bourbon's going to drag that belly. <laughs> You're good. Go, 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 oh. Yeah, Mal. Woo-woo! Yeah, we can 
try that, I was just worried he's going to drag his bumper on that uh, rock right there. Like if he stops right there. And climbs up this? Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, I love this man. I don't know if this will be any good, but we'll see. <gasps> okay, no, I would do, I would do this and up, yeah. So get your wheel over, yeah. Yeah, go straight. Okay, then more straight. Now go up. Oh, that is some of my metal. Yeah, and then you, you hit here, and you broke a little chunk of the rock off. Well, it's not a little bit easier for the next guy. Yeah, you smoothed it out for him. Do you want to go? Yeah. I chose it. It's the only way you're going to learn, and I'll spot, I'll spot you like crazy. Come on. You're good, that was just a rock kicking out. Little frame bump, no big deal. Completely dry. 
So we know it didn't take in water, but it is running a little, little rough. I saw it just now. Yeah. So it uh, keeps lowering and... Did it just start doing that? Yeah, just at the top of that hill before that last crossing. Well, let's get you out of here, man. Because there's not a lot we can do here. Okay. This is the last obstacle. It's a good part. Okay. What'd you say? I can't hear you. Soon enough? Get over this rock maybe and then go? Yeah. No. Back up. Get a little bit more momentum. When you get your, your front tire on this rock, then cut it. Cut it there. Yeah. It's digging. No. no. Come. I would keep coming, keep coming. Go back. Yeah. Ooh, you can smell those tires. Floor it. Yeah. get him up there. This is the last thing I remember.
Yeah, cut. There he goes. Steve Imes. He the man. <laughs> I've got my spare, it's just it's a different size tire, but it'll bolt up to these wheels. Yeah. So. It'll at least get us to the road. That's the only goal right now. Man, one-two punch of a misfire in a flat tire. Yeah. Cut it. It's better. I mean, it's holding. Yeah. For the moment. So as long as it's got to hold, man. You just got to make it to the road. Yeah. I mean, it's bubbling out slow, but. I sent her a little too hard there, bud. So I think this thing is killer from the factory. Uh, hopefully you agree with me after seeing it perform. We're looking forward to many more adventures. For the time being, I don't think we're going to do many modifications. Mm, probably by the time those tires wear out, we'll probably change something, but right now, I don't see a need. So we have been on that trail a few times. The conditions did change a good bit. The thing is to always have fun and always bring friends because your friends will help you have fun or get you out of trouble we got the tire patched the everybody got home good and safe that was a lovely trip and uh, I look forward to doing some more hope this video entertained you thanks for watching <laughs>